so real quick chat, as a lot of y'all know, back in the day, I was known as the Tartaglia guy. Oh, dude, I love Tartaglia so much. A guy who took a character that pretty much a big chunk of the community thought was pretty meh and made him look like a god. Now, obviously, that's because I see six them, and unfortunately, the C4, in my opinion, is more of a downgrade than an upgrade. But it appears that Mahoyo gave us a little bit of a balance patch, if you will. And now, what I consider balance patches for Genshin Impact is a new character or a new weapon that takes a character that's pretty good and turns him into a unstoppable killing machine to where if you get one copy of this weapon and put it on this character, it out damages his previous best in slot. And you might think, well, yeah, sure, that sure would sound good. Well, the thing is, that's actually real. And I don't know why. The thing in question is this weapon right here. The Thundering Pulse. If you have not seen it, it is pretty damn ludicrous, but I want you to imagine this on Tartalia real quick. First of all, the base attack is 608. The secondary is 66.2% crit damage. The base gives you increased attack by 40%, but here's the kicker, dude. <laughs> here's the kicker. At level 1, 2, and 3, you get a little bit of a bonus, okay? The character will obtain one stack of Thunder Album Emblem if in the following scenarios, okay? So if you hit him with a normal attack, you get 24% extra auto attack damage. You're going to have that up at all times, okay? If you cast an elemental skill, okay, you're going to be doing 48% additional damage with your auto attack, okay? That's pretty damn common. And the last one is, if your energy is less than 100%, you're going to be doing 80% increased damage with your normal attacks, which, by the way, is not this thing right here. It is this thing right here. Because when you press your E, bop, this becomes your new normal attack, which is, by the way, all of Tartalia's fucking damage. Okay, now, on top of that, he also got a new beautiful set that we originally thought was going to be for pretty much all forms of Ganyu, or at least I thought that, and it is called Shiminawa's Reminiscence. Now, Shiminawa's Reminiscence is really fucking good, but here's the thing, okay? 18% extra attack. When you cast your elemental skill, if you have 50 or more energy, you get 50% increased attack damage for 10 seconds. Now, all things considered, at R5, that's 130% increased damage with your normal attacks. Okay? But, at R1, that is still a whopping 90% increased damage with Tartalia. That already is pretty fucking crazy, and you don't need me to tell you that, okay? Now, the downside with Shiminawa's Reminiscence is if you double tap your E to activate 10 seconds later, unactivate, you're going to lose the 15 energy twice, which is terrible. So the way that you use Shiminawa's Reminiscence is you use it for 10 seconds, and then you swap off. That way, you can avoid the downside of double tapping. So it does require a little bit more sentience when playing the character, but it is worth it in the overall end. Now, me personally, I it's only been four weeks since Inazuma has come out. I do not have a true functioning good set for Tartalia yet, which, yes, makes me very depressed, but still, your, your bread and butter hard and depth still works very good, but I've heard reminiscence of Shiminawa does take the cake a little bit, and that's okay from what I've heard. The shit that this guy can fucking do is insane. Is fucking insane. Especially if you have a C6 fish. And the reason why I discovered this is because I was using C6 uh, fish with Yoimiya. But when you have C6 fish with Tartalia, it is it is the superconduct, whatever it's called. The one where like the water hits the electro and then the lightning happens everywhere. It's just like that non-fucking-stop. C6 Fish has to be one of the greatest C6 units in the entire game. 
You pair this dude with Kazuha. You pair this dude with Bennett. You pair this dude with Kazuha. All of your downtime is gone with Tartalia because you need you need to run a sub DPS with Tartalia. Kazuha is a great fit for that. And you use Bennett. He's fucking broken. You can also use like Zhang Ling, I guess, uh, if you want to test it out with him. But all I'm saying is, if you have Tartalia right now and a Thundering Pulse, you just got a massive fucking buff. Because once again, the amount of videos like Tenha posted where a R5 Skyward Harp brings less damage than a R1 Thundering Pulse, it is absolutely fucking lootly ludicrous. And if you don't believe me, well then great, because that makes these videos even better. We're going to go fight the Primo Vashap real quick, and you let me know if the Tartalia that you remember ever did any damage remotely close to what I'm about to showcase to you right now. And while you're taking the time to observe that, why don't you go ahead and smash the like and subscribe button, because honestly, their face got mutilated in a car accident. But if you slam the like and subscribe button hard enough, maybe their families will recognize them once again. Have a heart. Let's give the like and subscribe button a home. Let's bring that shit on over. All right, here we go. Primo Vashap, you're about to be beaten, victimized, and conquered. Bye-bye. I ain't even gonna use Kazuha. Gonna rip this right off the bat, get back in a little circle. And as you can see, you kinda just hit him. You don't really gotta do nothing. And the thing is, what I just did, it's not even a burst. And that's the crazy thing, and that is something that I want to talk about. And I'm going to be making a future video all about this shit. About how I would fix every single character in the entire game. Because I've done a lot of uh, studies on, like, character development and character design and aesthetic. And, like, making characters feel more like what the developers are trying to, to, to make them. And in my opinion, Tartelli is very good. Because he is by no means a burst character whatsoever. Because his E can last, what, uh, uh, f uh what, 30 seconds? But realistically, you only need it for 10. So in my opinion, they should make Tartalia's E's cooldown like 12, 13 seconds. And then increase the damage he can do in that 12 and 13 seconds. Because ain't nobody ever gonna fucking use Tartalia for 30 seconds. It's just not possible. But even with that complete downside negated, and I've already made a video on Tartalia that still holds up to this day about Tartalia and how to play around with a bit hard of depth four piece. Because once again, if your hard of depth bonus isn't up, then you need to fucking swap out. You need to, because Tartalia is not a character where you're like, oh, okay, uh, let's just keep him out for 30 fucking seconds. No character functions like that because the supports are generally nine times out of 10 more important than your actual main character. Because any character can look good if you have good supports to them. Let's get it. Let's go around two. So as you can see, things die really quick. And that's another perfect example. And now one of the worst fights in the entire game is this fucking pyro cube. It's this, it's this god-forsaken pyro cube, and I want to make this very apparent. Everything that I'm doing right now does not take advantage of my C4 or my C6, pretty much. Okay? So, or, or my C1. It does have a little bit of extra scaling because of my C3 and C5, but other than that, I mean, the shit that I'm doing right here, if you have a C0 Tartalia and an R1 Thundering Pulse, you can pretty much do all the same shit. Maybe not all of it, but... To a lesser degree, but I mean, Tartalia right now is it's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> As you can tell, he's uh, he's pretty fucking strong. This right here, I'm gonna use a C6 to get an instant reset on the Z ability. But I could also just not care about the cooldown. Drop, please. So, as you can tell, uh, Tartalia is pretty fucking strong right now. It's uh, kind of fucking ridiculous. It's, uh, it's kind of fucking ridiculous. Let's go to Magu Kenki real quick. Let's go to Magu Kenki real quick. Just, just to keep driving this point home. Uh, because Tartalia was one of my favorite characters and still is. I used to use this dude every single day for like five months. All right, Magu Kenki. I'm gonna need you to work for me here a little bit. Come on, get up. Get up, go ahead. All right, Kazura. 
dispose of this man. Begin next phase. Come on, do it. Yep. Yep. Bye bye. Bang. Uh, so yeah. Tartalia. <laughs> Primo of a shot destroyed both Inazuma bosses, completely fucking obliterated. I suppose I can take this dude in the spiral abyss uh, for anybody who wants to see how he fares on 12-3. The reason why I don't like showcasing a lot of spiral abyss attempts in my uh, videos is because spiral abyss is something that changes absolutely constantly. And when he might not be good this rotation, he might be good in another rotation. For example, if you were to show, if you were to showcase Venti in this spiral abyss, he would look like an absolute fucking trash can. Which honestly, I think is good for the game because uh, Venti has had it too good for too long. But we're gonna give this dude one more chance. We will do the spiral abyss. Uh, we'll solo the second half with uh, Zhang Lei. Let's take him in a spiral abyss real quick because I honestly have no idea what twelve one is. I think it's just a bunch of dudes. But we'll see, dude. Oh, let's go test him real quick. Hey, big man! Oh, yeah, hardest part for Tartalia here is going to be grouping him up. That's going to be the whole issue. And that's that's an issue that's pretty much never going to go away. And that's where, like, things like, you know, Venti really take off and where Kazuha would excel here over a Tartalia. Right? And that's the whole name of the game. It's finding where your characters work and where they don't work. But even still, right here, with just a fish and an E, dude... No Bennett all whatsoever. His damage is pretty fucking good. Let's swap out again real quick. Bennett one more time. And then Tartag one more time or two. Die, fool! Die! Don't you dare fucking heal! Don't you dare fucking heal! You will pay with your Don't you heal! You little bitch! You're gonna pay for that! You gonna hey, bird! You're gonna pay for that shit, boy! Get out my goddamn face! Now, obviously, Tartalia, this rotation obviously isn't the best because Tartalia, his kit excels with a bunch of little fucking dudes and you just go and you just fucking clap their fucking cheeks, slam the Q. But the sustained damage is pretty good, but it doesn't look as flashy with other characters. But what I'm saying is right now, if you, for some reason, got a Thundering Pulse, I think you should give Tartalia another shot because this is a character who, in my opinion, has some of the best lore, one of the most pleasing playstyles. Yeah, it's not the most interesting if you're not into just spam M1, but like how flashy he looks, how clean all of his animations are, his voice lines are great, his aesthetic is good, and he's just hes just a cool fucking character. I'm really hoping for a Tartalia skin, like getting the phase three skin on Tartalia for a cosmetic for Tartag, but I don't know, I miss this character a lot, and I'm just really appreciative of the Mahoya right now because I got a new reason to use my old favorite character again because Thundering Pulse is a godsend to previous Tartalia mains. Once again, I'm not going to recommend anybody roll on the weapon banner, especially if they're a free-to-play. But what I'm saying is if you're a dumbass and you did roll on the weapon banner and you did get a Thundering Pulse, maybe give your Tartalia another checkout. Thanks for watching. Peace.